but you know what? I want to go back to to your seven years old because you said something about dancing. You were doing ballet. Yeah, ballet, seven years tap, old. and jazz. Yep. And I know, I know for a fact there wasn't a whole lot of people of color at right. that time doing ballet not on a higher level right we, right we would study we would be you know you had alvin ailey you had dance theater of harlem there were definitely places for you know young kids of color to go and study dance mm -hmm. but as far as like major reputable dance mm -hmm. companies they were not in the habit of including us mm -hmm. no matter how amazing we were and you know slowly but surely you start chipping away and you continue to perform in excellence and on certain levels you just make your own path right, right. and then after a while you know people can't keep ignoring yeah, you yeah, i mean it's the same yeah. thing in sports <clears throat> yep. how long did it take before you know athletes of color were allowed to play in the nba yeah. and then there might have been one on this team or one on that team and some teams that refused to have black right. people and that's the same in every sport too in i mean like you said sport. major league baseball jackie obviously exactly was the first one to really break the, uh, the color barrier. Exactly. And there Jesse were still, Owens Jesse track Owens in track and field. Althea Gibson in right, tennis. Right. Arthur Ashe in tennis. Right. So there's always that We coming that for y'all in hockey. Yeah. Just know <laughs> we coming. I ain't gonna, I'm going to be honest. I ain't messing with y'all in hockey because I can't no. stand cold. So no. I, I like the fighting safe. part. There you go. You know, I, I would love to play on hockey if it was warm. I'd be trying to knock the shit out of people. But, but that cold ice, yeah. first hockey yeah. game I went to, I uh -huh. was coaching in New Jersey. And the Devils. Yes. We're a really good hockey team. They were playing the Stanley Cup. So Lou, who ran the Devils, said, you know, Coach, you need to go to a hockey game. I said, man, that just looks boring to me. You know, you're just sitting right. there. And he said, no, you just need to go. Okay. Decided to go. First mistake was when I got there, you know, you think it's inside, so you're going to be nice. I, I needed a coat. You, I was In the ring. Yeah. I was in the arena like this, <laughs> chattering. You know, my dude. I was like, this shit too cold, <laughs> you know. And so I went back to another game. It was like their game seven. Uh -huh. And I had the biggest coat on. Wasn't no fur coat in it, but I had a big old jacket, made sure I was warm. But what I found out about hockey at that time is it, it was pretty exciting. Right. To be there in person, to watch it. And you really get caught up in the energy. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know the rules. I didn't know why they stopped on, the, you know, and then all of a sudden you're going to drop the puck here and you two fight over it. I didn't know none of the rules. But I was like, this is pretty exciting. Excellent. You know, it was pretty good. So. You know, Don said, "Yo, we coming for you." I'm gonna tell you, I'm you know, <laughs> tennis. We gonna come for y'all ass. Tennis. tennis. <laughs> we already there. We we right there. We gonna come for you. Tennis, golf, golf. You know, all all those sports. But lacrosse, lacrosse crew. Lacrosse, I don't know. Mm, we'll see. That, that, yeah, you know, I, we'll I think you know we we kind of taking over basketball, football, baseball. I think we'll we'll, we'll, we'll be all right. Hang out track with those three. Track we'll be and field. All right. 